Hello and welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with more of Dowd's mission in Dishonored. We are within the Flooded District in his base, uh, in the, I think it's a commercial building, trying to rescue our fellow um, assassins. Uh, not to Look use up. my <clears throat> my sleep dots on these two. None of this would have gotten so bad. Damn fool, Corvo killed the Empress. Uh. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, my my vision disabled itself for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why it's disabling. Hmm. I went up and not down though, so. Good luck with that. No, you're here. Indeed, I am. Hey, well, it's hard to find good help these days. And your bone charm spirited potions give you slightly more mana. So we we have a bone charm up there. What else am I missing? Oh, hi. See me from a distance, apparently. Is that it? Just a bone charm? Hmm, maybe so. Okay. Any easy way? Oh, I was gonna see if there was any way we could get over there. Things are bad. Could the they city get any itself. worse? Yes, of course. Itself. Get up, right. Alright, it's always worth getting the music players out. Hmm. There's one more music player I definitely need to deal with if I recall. Okay. We'll see if we can get this. Um Oh no, the bone charm's kind of here. Either way. <clears throat> if we've killed one or two people here, or Billy killed them, so be it. I kind of just accept that. Kind of acceptable losses at this stage. You can't really control what the AI does. There's another music player. Can I... Uh. 
Oh, that's where the bone charm is. Okay. <clears throat> Reinforced bolts. I... Yep, you see me. Ah, oh, not a good place to be. Not a good place at all. That was a terrible idea. This is the one I was thinking of. Or at least we'd stopped him. Um, hmm. Oh, hi. Keep forgetting I've got this thing. That might be worth checking out. It might be worth checking out. I know you are. Ow. You're attacking me through your ally. Ow! Oh, for crying out loud. This all would have went so much better if you had allowed me allowed me to Okay, that was a bit cheap, but at the same time, I don't really care. <laughs> Look at what I had to play with. Okay. I'll watch for your side. I don't want bolts, I want sleeping darts. Please. 
No, we're not that lucky. Oh, what's this? Oh, yay, one sleep dart. How lucky am I? So yeah, suspected occultist lair in the commerce building, but then you've got Greaves Oil Refinery in the Rootshaw Gate. If he comes back, I'll earn another promotion. The last assassin's over there. We don't really need to deal with these two, do we? Ordered a counter attack. Very much, very gladly. You know what? I'm kind of at the point where I don't care if overseers die. Move. What is our next move? Capture as many as you can. Their plans are ruined. <laughs> Give me a report. We'll take the overseer who led the attack and find out what else he knows. As soon as he's conscious. It seems the Overseers are marching into the flooded district, planning a massive assault against us. This Overseer Hume went against orders and attacked early. Our men, the ones you freed, were able to rout the remaining Zealots. This place belongs to us again. How did the cursed Overseers find us? It's my fault. I told Delilah where we were hidden. She wanted me to turn on you. You did this. But I can't go through with it. Stupid child. All you had to do was cut his throat. He deserves better. I was an idiot to listen to you. So that's your choice then, Dowd. Her betrayal would have been the sweetest. But either way, the Brigmore Witches will be your end. You should have forgotten my name the day you heard it. I think it was always understood between us that I'd see my moment and take your place. I moved too early. You weren't weak, like I thought. I'm only sorry I didn't pick a better ally. Delilah made contact with the Overseers. I thought, between the three of us, we'd have you dead to rights. We can blame the Zealots for that. Overseer Hume was too quick to move. My life is yours now. Kill me, or let me live. If it even matters to you. Touching and pathetic. If I see either of you again, I'll tear out your stone-cold hearts and walk in your skin. To be perfectly fair, 
you're sounding she was sounding pretty um angry for the one who actually betrayed us we just want to know what you were all about and for this you've killed quite a few of my men <sighs> Hmm. I forgive you. Get out of here. Leave the city. Leave my sight, Billy. I give you your life. And that's why we don't see Billy in Kovo's mission. What the hell just happened? When Billy Lurk was eight, she wanted to be the captain of a ship. From the moment she met you, all she wanted was to be a killer. She watched you, learned from you, and then she saw you losing your grip and decided to take your place. And now, she's limping to the outskirts of the city. She'll pay a smuggler to get past quarantine. She'll watch herself for signs of plague for a while, gradually, the fear and grief that seep into your bones in Dunwall will dissipate, and she'll find a new name and a new use for her skills. Even if Dunwall burns to the ground, one corner of the Empire will still know your story. Dowd, killer of an empress. Dowd, who spared his betrayer's life. Yeah, we did kill one hostile, but so be it. And is that the end? Is that the knife of Dunwall complete? Oh, apparently so. So we have one more DLC mission. The was it the Bridgemore Witches? I believe so. Yeah, maybe that continues the story or gives it another perspective. That was interesting. I really enjoyed that. I was kind of wondering where else you could go. I was wondering if you would go and investigate Delilah before Corvo came and met you. But I suppose ending a day was appropriate. Now, for what I remember, the credits are quite long unless they're slightly cut compared to the original um, campaign story credits. I do like these um, rolling screenshots, though. I say, apart from that li last mission, though, the game wasn't really too challenging. I mean, at the same time as I didn't ever get like a ghost mastery, I wasn't completely undetected. Even on the hardest difficulty, I could still move around quite reasonably. You just had to be a lot slower and a lot more careful. Apart from when I mostly just gave up on that last um, on that last part there. Hmm. So yeah, I will um, I will see if I can skip. Uh, rather than see if there's any hidden parts. Unlike, I don't imagine there will be any hidden cutscene afterwards. Because uh, it's the same with the campaign story, I imagine. I could be wrong, but I'm willing to take that chance. And uh, I will see you all, maybe, for the Bridgemore w Witches DLC. I may just continue it straight on and just um, complete Dishonored in its entirety. Because I do enjoy the storyline. It's like... um. Deus Ex Human Revolution in that way I'm quite, I was quite happy to progress in that and in fact I've still got the, mis the Missing Link DLC to actually play at that at some point hmm okay so as I say yeah let's see if we can yeah if we press escape we can get out of the game now so Dishonored the Knife of Dunwall so of course as always this has been Antwolf and this of course has been Dishonored and one DLC mission complete. We can take it off our take it off our checklist. So when we come back, if we go back to the main menu now, that's absolutely fine. We have this one. The Bridgemore Witches. I wonder if that's told from Delilah's point of view, even though you never really found out much about her apart from when you were playing as Doubt himself. 
but I am curious. So yeah, I will leave it here. And as I say, I will see you all for more Dishonored in the near future. Till then, take care. Bye bye now.